It's time to exhort the God right now. Nothing else but to worship the God. Oh, 
We are moving on to another dimension of our program of this, this time around. That was time for praise and worship time. Right now, I want to call the director and the founder of Great Place Others Ministry, Reverend Timothy Badamo, to give us the opening remark and also an introduction for this meeting. It's Robert Lupata. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, I think you are able to see me. Uh, as I can see, Pastor Gray Lewe, are you able to see me? And if you hear, those great. Hello? Hello? We can see you. All right, thank you so much. I have to welcome uh, our guest, uh, Pastor Bob Beverly, the president and the coordinator of Billion Global, and Pastor Patrick uh, Simmons, the president and founder of Rights for Christ, for joining with us today to this event on Vice for Presentation Ceremony to local uh, village missionaries. Here in Malawi, you are very, uh, you are most welcome to the warm heart of Africa. Thank you so much. And the, uh, let me also welcome Pastor, uh, Pastor, uh, let to bless others, many friends. At the same time, Leaders of Bless to Bless Others Ministries and all members of Bless to Bless Others Ministries, wherever you are attending this wonderful sermon, feel welcome. I know that there are some other uh, people that are just joining us through Zoom, but they are not uh, with us today in this room. But uh, in other districts, for example, I can see uh, Pastor Amis John with his colleague live in the in Belgica in Goa. You are most welcome, Pastor Amis. At the same time, I can see also uh, Pastor Gray Lewe, uh, who is one uh, also a coordinator. Pastor Amis is a coordinator in the Goa district. And the Pastor Gray Bewe is also a coordinator, district coordinator in Kasumi district. You are most, most welcome. Uh, very quickly, allow me to introduce to you our guest, uh, guest Pastor Patrick and Bob, the team that are uh, working with me, very dedicated to spread the gospel under people. Uh, I just wanted to show you, I will call the name, the name. you are able to see them. These are the people that are working with me here in Malawi under Bless to Bless Others Ministry. I have a uh, evangelist, Evangelist but, uh, Oble Maruza is here with us. Uh, he is uh, a national outpost coordinator here in Malawi. Uh, where, where there is an outpost, evangelical outpost, he is the one who is very for that uh, evangelical outpost. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> And in the other one is a
from the gas. So this shall take us far. As if I see this by we shall help us traveling long distances, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. The distance that we won't be able to walk, we shall be able to reach many houses to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. May the good Lord continue yes. blessing to bless us as a minister. Thank you so much, our director, for providing us the way connecting to our partners in America. Thank you so much, Pastor Bob. Thank you so much, Pastor Patrick, for the vice president. May the good Lord continue blessing you. Amen. Pastor Bob, please, over to you. 
The recipient of the vice course. Thank you so much, Pastor uh, Esther. Uh, Esther Pili. Uh, at this this time around, uh, allow me to invite. It's time now for the speech. So allow me to invite Pastor Bob Beverly. Uh, of billion dot global ministries to give us uh, a speech. Thank you so much, Pastor Bob. You may now start your speech. Thank you. Okay, Pastor Dimion, are all of you able to hear me there? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, okay, very okay. good. Well, uh, Patrick and I are very grateful to be with you there in Malawi today by means of uh, computer connection. And so we warmly thank you for uh, and for welcoming us into your group today. And our desire is to strengthen your hands so that you are better able to serve Christ and the people of Malawi. And yes. as you do this, uh, there is uh, a very special gift that you can give to people there. And we certainly are very grateful for this gift today. Thank uh, you. As you, as you know, at Christmas, we celebrate God taking on human flesh, yes. a baby born in Bethlehem, who is Emmanuel, which means God with us. So yeah, Amen. Without, Jesus, without Jesus, there would be no Christmas. Amen. And so as we think about this today, one of the gifts that we can share together is the gift of Jesus moving us from despair to hope, Amen. from Amen. hopelessness to hearts overflowing with hope. As all of you know, this world is a very, very troubled place. It's turbulent. Yeah. Uh, you're aware that Russia has invaded Ukraine and on both sides have been injured or maimed, or killed. You also know that Hamas in the Middle East stormed into southwestern Israel on a killing rampage, and they left over 1,200 people dead and took more than 200 hostages. And mm. now Israel is retaliating, leveling much of Gaza through intense bombing, and killing thousands of Palestinians. Oh. Meanwhile, the womb is perhaps the most dangerous and life-threatening place in many countries, as mm -hmm. the lives of many unborn children are snatched away by abortion. And poverty still holds millions and millions of people around the world in its grip. But at the same time, followers of Christ around the world are being persecuted and some of them imprisoned and some of them even killed 
in increasing numbers. These are just a few of many, many troubles all around us. And we feel powerless to right these wrongs. They are discouraging. They make us feel defeated. They rob us of hope. And as hope fades from our lives, it feels like we're just one step away from total despair, from complete hopelessness. It makes us feel down and discouraged and depressed. It makes us feel hopeless. I don't know about you, but at times I struggle with keeping hope in my heart. But may I remind us today that we have a God who never leaves us nor yes. abandons us. Exactly. May I remind us today of the truth of Jeremiah 29, 11, where mm -hmm. God speaks to his troubled people who were living in very difficult times. And he says to them, I know the plans I have for you. Yes. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans Amen. to give you hope to give you hope and a future. And then in Romans chapter five, beginning at verse two, we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Not mm -hmm. only so, but we also rejoice in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not disappoint us. So because Jesus came and was born in Bethlehem, you yep. and I, as brothers and sisters in Christ, can have mm -hmm. rock-solid hope in our hearts today. Amen. Why? Because we know that today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. And he is Christ the Lord. That's yes. What the angels announced to the shepherds. And that's what we can hear with our ears as well. That a Savior has been born to us. And he is Christ the Lord. So as you serve Christ there in Malawi, through mm. Bless to Bless Others Ministries, yes. we want to encourage you to share this hope to share it openly, lovingly, kindly with as many people there in Malawi as you possibly can. Yes. And our prayer is that you're having these bikes, a gift from Bikes for Christ, that you're having these bikes will strengthen your hands and enable you to take this hope, the very hope of Christ, to more yes. and more people there in Malawi. And so on behalf of Billion Dot Global today, I want to give thanks for this partner, Pat Simmons and Bikes for Christ, and their wonderful and kind work of providing, helping to provide uh, 10 bicycles for you there in Malawi. And I yes. want to give thanks to God that he is the one who gives us hope that we can share with others. And so may you be strengthened Amen. and in the days Amen. ahead to share Amen. this hope wholeheartedly with people there in Malawi. And may more and more of them rejoice as they discover that in the town of David, a Savior Amen. has been born to us. And he is Christ the Lord. And he is our source of hope. So may your Amen. hearts overflow with hope today. God bless you, and thank you so much for this opportunity in which you've included Pat and myself. We are very, very thankful. God bless you. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, this time around, I think he... Pastor Bob? Yes. Yeah, I think you can uh, hand over to Pastor 
Yeah. So that he may also give us his speech. Yes. Yeah, so let me introduce to you Pat Simmons, who is the president of Bikes for Christ. And Pat Simmons lives in Florida. I'm talking to you today from Pennsylvania. So through technology, God has brought us all together today. But what yes. a joy it is to know and work with Pat Simmons of Bikes for Christ. And so it's my honor to introduce him to you. Welcome, now. Thank you, Bob. Can y'all hear me there? Yes, I can hear you, Pastor. Okay. Yes. First off, I am not a pastor. I do not aspire to have or carry that title. I, Amen. <laughs> I, 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 I just want to be, I just want to be used uh, as a vessel and be able to do what I can uh, to, uh, to do the Lord's work. Um, yeah, in the kingdom of God. Absolutely. So uh, in 2015, I took a missions trip and it changed my life. And um, I was on fire. I wanted to do something. I wasn't sure what that was. And finally, God led me to be able to start Bikes for Christ, which was a perfect joining of my passion for cycling and bicycles and something that actually had purpose. So in March of 2016, I started Bikes for Christ. And I had no idea uh, that it would lead to amazing things like this. Um, we're very fortunate that we are able to do things like this. Um, and it just brings my heart great joy um, to see this and, and be with y'all here today. And, and to see the gifting of these bicycles and to know uh, their purpose and how they're going to be used to go out and spread the gospel message. Um, so thank, thank you for having myself and Bob here today. Um, again, I'm not a pastor, so I, I don't have a lot to say, uh, <laughs> but, but th thank you for having us here today. I really appreciate it and God bless you. Thank you so much. Uh, brother, brother Patrick, I think that can be. <laughs> Thank you so much, right now. Uh, so you have just the. Conclude that your. Uh, I have some few uh, closing remarks that I wanted to uh, say to you. As we come to the end of uh, the program, let me thank the Lord for entrusting me with uh, a team of missionary-minded leaders who are sacrificially for God's glory. Uh, I am also thank God for Pastor Bob, the president, and our uh, founder of uh, Billion.Global for your heart, for the Lord and the vision for, of Billion Global to bring together a network of uh, ministry partners in order to reach the many with the target of one billion souls by the uh, year 2026. Thank you so much for that vision. Uh, I also thank God for you, brother uh, Patrick. You are my brother in Christ since it's our first time to talk to each other. Uh, by the grace of God, we are together today. Thank you so much uh, for this giving us, uh, for re receiving this uh, vision of vice bikes for Christ to help the people all over the world, including Malawian local village evangelists and the missionaries, with bikes uh, to ease the transportation challenges in long distances to do evangelism in the hard to reach villages and the areas under uh, privileged school children, early uh, people, Elder people and the uh, 
those living in a, a life of a affliction. <laughs> Lastly, uh, when God provided you, remember, bless to bless others ministries needs more bicycles for local village miss missionaries to spread the gospel and the schools, uh, school children in all three regions of Malawi. You know, uh, Malawi has got uh, almost a 20 million uh, population. And the out of 20 million population, we Malawi has got uh, three uh, regions. So we have southern region. Uh, central region, north, then region, and the southern region. Three regions that make uh, Malawi. So over these uh, three regions, blessed to bless others, we have got the, our evangelism outposts there, and we have our uh, district coordinators there. You know, uh, Malawi has uh, 28 uh, districts. So over uh, Malawi, we are going to uh, reach the people uh, to reach uh, Jesus Christ. Since as you, you have just shared with us uh, about uh, uh, Christmas, that uh, we are supposed to go out and uh, uh, preach the gospel. Over Malawi, we have already planned uh, in our evangelism outpost to go out in dry zones, in our dry zones, to preach the gospel. Thank you so much uh, for that, uh, for this opportunity that uh, you, we, uh, we, we got arranged to connect with you. Thank you so much, Pastor uh, Bob and the Brother Patrick. May God bless you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. And on behalf of uh, Brother Patrick and myself, we warmly thank you today. It's been a joy. <laughs> thank to you so you. much. Wait, wait. Yeah. Yes, it's it's been a joy to be with you. It's been a joy to be able to see you on camera, to see your faces, to hear you singing praises to God, and to hear your words of thanks and appreciation. And I want to add my words of thanks to all of you and also to Brother uh, Pat for his kindness and grace in uh, um leading Bikes for Christ and also in making it possible for you to receive uh, 10 bicycles. So Brother Pat, thanks so much. Yes, thank you all and have a very, very Merry Christmas there. Thank you so much. I think uh, the, the remaining thing that we, uh, we are able to do is uh, now to sign some forms uh you know as a bitbomb national executive office we are supposed to have uh to sign a memorandum of understanding with the uh, the readers uh of evangelism outpost so we'll be doing this uh uh i think uh, later when we are uh, you are out of the meeting but if the chance, uh, if you, you have got still the time, then we can proceed while you are seeing the program. Are you able to do that? I, I don't know what your schedule is, brother. So whatever you say. Our our schedules it ends there. Okay. Yep. Yeah. The remaining thing it would be for us now to discuss some th th things with the, our uh, leaders and the, the members. But uh, the program ends uh, there. Okay. Yeah, so, I, I, I appreciate y'all having me again. Uh, this is uh, amazing. It's absolutely amazing. 
And uh, I thank God that we are able to do things like this. And again, hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you for having having me here. Thank you so much. So, so, so Pastor Demio, and I think, uh, I think Pat, Pat and I will sign off now, and then you can continue with your meeting. Yeah, we'll, we'll continue with our meeting. But before, uh, thank you. you. You, you, you. Before you go out, I think let me. There's uh, also my brother, uh, uh, Pastor Missy. Maybe he can just say something, just to give greet you. And also, uh, is our coordinator, Pastor Miss, in Doha District. Then he, I think uh, Pastor Gray Mbewe, he can also just uh, greet you. Uh, he's uh, also a coordinator of uh, Kasungu District. So uh, it's our, your time. Pastor Miss, I think you can just greet uh, Pastor Bob and uh, Patrick. Thank you very much. Uh, we are so grateful and uh, we thank you for this opportunity and the time that we had to get with Pastor Bob and uh, uh, Brother Patrick with my leader, Dominion, God bless us. Uh, I am my fellow pastor, Rodriguez. All of us, we are from Congo, but currently we are in Malawi due to the uh, problems of war that we face in our country. For now, we are, we are refugees in Malawi, and we love God, we love the gospel, we are working end and end with uh, Pastor Dominio, and we are so grateful for this program. Although we were not, uh, we 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 were not able to get some bicycles today, but we believe tomorrow or after tomorrow, so we're gonna get. But we are so grateful for those who get. Exactly. And, uh, we believe that this is gonna help the gospel to be spread all around villages. Thank you very much. May God bless us. Thank you so much. Uh, Pastor Gray, can you just uh, greet Pastor Bob and uh, uh, Patrick? Pastor Gray. Gray Mbewe. I think uh, due to you know, Africa internet con connection, we, we used to have some challenges. Because uh, in Kasung, where Pastor Mbewe is, is uh, typically in a vi village. And at the same time, here in Malawi, this time around, it's a, a rainy season. So during rainy season, internet is a challenge. But uh, thank you so much. I think uh, you let me allow you to go out so that we can uh, proceed with the other issues. Thank you. But before you go out, uh, let me ask uh, Pastor uh, Bishop Majomeka to close with uh, a word of prayer again. Come. Let us pray. Father, we come before you again. We want to appreciate you for being kind to us, for being with us as we asked you earlier, as we were started our meeting today. We have witnessed a great ceremony which your servants, whom you have called, have today uh, empowered by giving uh, bascos, which will help them to go far. So we thank the donors, we thank uh, the national coordinator of Breast to Breast Others, 
and also uh, we thank all of the servants for humbling themselves to work even in difficult areas to reach without any aid. Until now, you have seen and bless them. So it's my belief that these bicycles will enhance your kingdom. They will reach and reach the areas and reach the people. Yes. So uh, as they are going back home, uh, it's my prayer that you must be with them and anoint them, give them strength to work more harder than before. Yes. Uh, in the name of Jesus, we pray that your grace of your Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with each and everyone who is in this room. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Bob. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye for now. Good.